Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I review and unbox subscription boxes here on my channel and today I have my first, potentially my last, deco created box here on the channel. This was not sent to me for review. I just decided to go ahead and open one of the larger home decor subscription boxes that's out there and available just to kind of maybe underscore my reasons why I don't open a lot of home decor here on the channel. I'm very selective about it. You may have noticed uh, I only open maybe three or four different home decor subscription boxes, and that's for a variety of reasons. One is that I live in a very small space, so I just don't have room for a lot of sort of fast fashion in terms of home decor or seasonal decor even, because I don't have room to store it when it is not the given season. And then also I just really like to support small businesses and really well-made items that are gonna last me well into the future for many years to come, uh, maybe even when I outgrow this home. So uh, that is why, but I wanted to try it out. So I asked the no bots over in our private Facebook group, which of the sort of big, you know, five or six different home decor subscription boxes they would like me to allocate a little bit of my budget towards and they chose deco created. So this is their fall box. It is $109.99 per quarter plus $15 in shipping if you are a seasonal subscriber. So that is how I signed up as a quarterly subscriber. If you are annual and you pay up front, then it's $99.99 per quarter, which is a good savings, $10 per box, and you get free shipping. So that's where you start to really get the savings because you're going to save the $40 on the boxes over the course of the year, and you're going to save another $60 on the shipping. So that winds up being a savings of about $100, which is great. Each box contains five to seven full-size curated items, uh, a variety of items, and I'm just kind of curious to know about the quality, and I usually find a lot of fall decor can be sort of uh, integrated throughout the year, so I thought this was a good time to try it. I also just kind of love fall even though it's still very summer here in San Diego. Now I do have an affiliate link. Uh, I don't have a unique code. Again, this is not a sponsored video. They didn't send this to me for a review, but it would definitely help my channel out. Obviously, if you decide to subscribe and purchase this box, if you use that affiliate link, I'm just going based off of the code that I saw on their website, but you can use deco box 15 and save 15%. Uh, you could probably use any code in all honesty, but if you happen to go through my affiliate link, it could be helpful. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up as, quickly as possible. And I do have my little X-Acto knife out here. I think there's probably like boxes within boxes, but I thought it would be fun to really open it together. So I'll just hold it up real quick. You've probably seen this unboxed before. So it looks like we have a little envelope and I do like a box that does include a product card. Again, printing is really expensive these days. This is very hefty. So it looks like we've got like a whole booklet. And I think this is another feature of Deco Created. I think they always give you a seasonal double-sided print. So one says fall breeze and autumn leaves with a little wreath, got those fall colors. And the other side says hello fall. So you could put this on a cute clipboard or a little card holder. I think that's a nice touch. I'm not usually one for word art, but you know, as long as that's not included as one of my five to seven items, I don't mind. Then we have this really significant booklet for styling, which I appreciate. So this is good. It does say what the key pieces are here. So it looks like we have six items. And then I'm presuming that as I turn the page, wow, they like managed to get them all in. I wish I had the home or the space to take uh, styled product photos like that. It's also really hard for me to do product photography for the home decor subscription boxes that I get because I'm like, there is no way that I can fit that even like on a single table. All right, so this I think is like one of the smaller boxes, honestly, from Deco Created that I've seen. Sometimes I think the boxes come even bigger. All right, so we do definitely have a lot of things. Looks like we've got a cute pillow. I'll say that's cute. We got some florals, some faux florals. I'm not usually one for faux florals. You guys know I really like my real florals. I always try to have fresh flowers in the house whenever possible. Um, and I just don't, again, have a big enough space where I feel like faux florals ever really look real. I feel like that works when you have um, bigger spaces and things can kind of be seen from afar, but uh, pretty much everything in my house is up close and personal. Now I'm trying to take everything out so that I can be a little bit quicker, hopefully in the unboxing, because some of these do have boxes within boxes that I haven't pre-scored or anything because I wanted the whole experience with you guys. And some of you also know that with my very small space, this is our guest room. This is also my office. So I don't have much desk space. One of these days, 
I'll create a filming room for myself, but uh, I don't see that happening in the immediate future. So let me see. I don't want this to fall over, but it's gonna. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and open up. Let's say the, let's see. Let's go in the order of the booklet so that I'm not like flipping back and forth too, too much. So we do have a lovely throw blanket. And again, they show us all kinds of styling picks. Now I've covered my opening devices, but it looks pretty nice. Let's see, our neutral color throw blanket is the perfect way to add cozy comfort to any room. Whether draped over a chair or sofa or thrown on your bed, it's soft texture can make any space feel welcoming and inviting. Now I will say I do love a good throw. I also love this one because I think that these diamond, the diamond weave of it is really pretty. It is super duper soft. It doesn't feel super chunky and heavy, even though I do love a good chunky weighted blanket. Those are some of my favorites. Um, Throws are very fall. I just have too many of them. So I've always wanted to get a blanket ladder and until I do, I'm gonna have to be really selective with what I keep. So it could look nice over a chair. It could not look nice over a blanket ladder. Uh, so let's see if I can find a tag on here because I'm a little concerned about the color and I don't even have kids or pets, but it's 100% acrylic. So that's kind of nice. It does say that you have to dry clean only. So that's a little less great. It is deco created branded. I have a feeling that they do a lot of white labeling and make their own products. It is 45 by 55. It's really pretty. I like it. It's going to be great for winter as well. Um, but it's white. So <laughs> I don't know. Um, and it's, it's, I mean, I guess it's cream, but it's also kind of white. So let's see if we can go ahead and flip to the next item. So there is also, I'm guessing it's in one of these, there's two sort of fragile items. So one is a ceramic vase. So we're gonna guess that it's in this box and I don't even see which one is the top and the bottom. It says this textured ceramic vase is perfect for adding a clean, classic look to your home. If you're looking to spruce up your space, add in your favorite flower and you're good to go. Now I am happy to have vases. I am running out of space. I've got a lot of my, for a long time, I literally had like one vase. It was like red glass and I just got it from a holiday bouquet and now from all these different boxes uh, because we get vases in lifestyle boxes too. I do have a nice collection of all different styles and I have them above my cupboard in my kitchen, but that shelf is now full. And of course I did open it up upside down because just typical me, I'm sure there was an arrow and I just completely missed it. But so there was a little styrofoam in there. This is a nice little vase though, I'll say that. It's simple, just white with a little bit of texture to it. It's a little bit shorter, so I'm wondering what the height on that is. Again, deco created on here. This textured ceramic vase, perfect for adding a clean classic look to your home. I think I read this already. If you're looking to spruce up your space, add in your favorite flower. I did, I did read it already. So it looks like it's about seven and a half inches tall, which is not bad. Um, I'm wondering if they're expecting us to pair it with these big florals, which this is like way too big, I think for that, unless you cut it, but it could look, I, I have a lot of taller vases. It's almost like bud vase, right? So now sometimes I will say, even with like these stargazer lilies, there's, um, I, I would like a narrower space because the stems, otherwise they kind of spread out too much. So this might be nice for some bigger blooms that have skinny, skinny stems, if that makes sense. All right, so then I think the next thing they tell us about is the basket. I think they skipped from the, the vase, so maybe they didn't intend for us to use it with the, um, the florals, which is, is good. Ooh, that almost fell down. Let me just go ahead and move this, you guys, because at least this basket is not uh, as fragile, so this is always a balancing act. It's always the case. I like this. This is really nice actually. So I will tell you, I came into this video thinking I was gonna be, have to be really, really critical. I will say that most of these items, I am seeing that they're made in China. Um, so far, it, the blanket, the fact that it's dry clean only is disappointing to me. Um, it is, <laughs> but uh, so far this seems better made than I thought that it would be. It does have some like wire, although I feel like these wire bits should be more hidden. I guess it's woven, but you guys can see there are these, like if there's a frame to it that's not on every single uh, spoke or 
the uh, vertical piece here, but that's what gives it some shape. So this could kind of spruce up a waste paper basket. Like you could actually put a regular basket inside of it. Um, you could definitely put some magazines in it. It's not quite big enough to be like for blankets, although they're showing it here as a way to store a blanket. But I think that like that's kind of mismatched in scale in my personal opinion. It says our natural weave basket can be used for more than just a decorative accent. You can use it to store toys, blankets, or a plant. It could look really cute with a house plant. Again, I just don't have any like super large house plants. So it's a good way to just kind of add um, some texture. Uh, and you can, if you have like a really ugly pot or something that you're just trying to hide, it's nice that they gave us this nice natural color. And this is something that sure it's in a fall box, but like this is a year round item, this sort of like raffia weaved uh, basket. So I'm not, I'm so far that might be one of my favorite items. I feel like the vase is a little, maybe a little generic. It feels like you could pick it up in like a home goods store. Um, again, I'm looking for a value of like $110, especially compared to other of the home decor boxes that I open uh, that are, yes, twice the price and maybe even a little bit more, but sometimes I find their items that they have selected and curated for us to be a little bit more unique, which makes sense, right, when it, the box is not quite as much, but I would probably, so far, I would probably save up my money uh, and allocate that towards saving to buy one of those other subscription boxes that I open here on the channel. Maybe there's a season that resonates with you more and you skip another season instead of just getting deco crated every season. I don't know. It's up to you. Like, again, if you have the space. So far, all three of the items that we've looked at are not particularly seasonal. I mean, yes, it's a throw, but the vase and the, and the basket you could use year round. And that pillow that you guys got a little sneak peek at. Now, this is the only item that is like truly, truly uh, fall. And I'm sure that once again, I'm opening it up upside down. <laughs> uh, the florals even, even though that's probably like the piece that I'm like the least excited about, honestly. Like to me, that's just like kind of an extra. I'm very picky with my florals. Um, I will say that the eucalyptus uh, garland that I got in the Mitro fall box is really good quality. So, and again, something you could use year round. Uh-oh. So we have some styrofoam. I might have to open it up from the bottom as well so that I can pull it out. So it does have this hole here, but I'm just a little bit nervous because I do see what it is. It is something that is fragile. <laughs> so is it gonna pull out? No. Is it gonna help me out? No. Let's see. Okay but I just wanted to be able to put it back into the box. I guess I could just take the box back up. All right, you guys, this is the fun of continuous take unboxings, which again, if you're new to my channel, welcome. One of the things that makes me a little bit different from other unboxing channels is that I do all of my videos in one take. I try to keep them all within around 20 minutes, just that's kind of the limitations of my filming equipment because it's all very uh, low budget in all honesty. But I think that it adds to some of the experience, the authenticity. You get to see when items come broken or you get to see when items are a little confusing to me. Like if it's a tech gadget, you get to see the things that you want to watch out for when you're unboxing the items so that you don't have any crazy breakage. Okay, Whew. so we got this styrofoam that I'm hoping stays in place because uh, this is one of those items that I would have to store for part of the year and it's pretty big <laughs> and it's pretty fragile. It is a glass pumpkin. I will say this is pretty cool though. Uh, again, it feels like something that you could get at one of those like home goods stores for not a ton of money. I guess if you're dividing uh, $110 by six, it's like, you know, you're paying what, $15 an item. It's not like crazy. Um, but I wouldn't pay $15 for the florals, but I would maybe pay $15 for the throw and the and the vase. It's really pretty. It's not my style. You guys, I love pumpkins. I love collecting pumpkins. I love grouping them all over the house in the fall. It's one of the things that I actually do. Um, but this is just a little bit too like textured. It's a little too ornate for me. I like a plainer uh, glass pumpkin. And also I'm a little bit of a glass snob, which you guys also know. <laughs> 
know. So I, there's just so many beautiful hand-blown pumpkins out there and even mass-produced ones. Uh, this is just like not my personal style. I l do appreciate that they didn't do it like in orange or something like really uh, busy. Uh, so I do like that it's clear. They are styling it with an LED candle which I do think could look cool and kind of have a neat, cleaner look than, you know, like a jack-o'-lantern or something. So it says, get ready to impress this fall season with this versatile glass pumpkin. Whether you're adding a candle or using it as a centerpiece, this can be easily used to brighten up any space. So this is the opening. So pretty big. You could put, definitely put an LED candle in there. Um, I guess you could probably put fairy lights in there. If you wanted to, you could probably put some faux fall leaves in there. Again, it's just not... It's not something I would have picked up for myself, but hey, that happens all the time with home decor subscriptions. All right, so I'm gonna put that right there. We got our faux floral branch. It's a pretty color. It's almost like a peachy color. It's, you know, you can see there's some fraying on the edges. It's always the plastic. It's always the stem where I feel like florals give themselves away. It's better quality than I thought it would be at first. And it does have that like nice uh, shaking quality to it. It says, bring nature's beauty indoors with this faux floral branch. Whether for autumn floral display in the foyer or adding it to your mantle, you can give any space definition and character. So again, I they are pairing it in there. It doesn't look bad. You'd have to like cut the or bend the stem. It doesn't look bad. I personally would probably just get real flowers. Um, and this, I just, it's very rare that I would go for a faux, but you have these little indentations so you can always use like a wire cutter to just snap that, but it does look pretty and they are styling it that way in the booklet. So I do love all the images. They definitely have spent some money on this booklet as well as, um, as producing the booklet. And then our final item is this lumbar pillow, which does have an insert, which I really appreciate when they come with the insert, although it's not that hard these days to, to get one to fit. Um, and it is sort of compressed. They've used the vacuum seal. This might be like one of my favorite items in this box. So it kind of has a nice material. So it's more of a like canvas on the back. It's got this texture on the front. It is actually woven. It's not like printed. It says our lumbar pillow is a timeless accessory for your home with its stripe pattern. It can be used season after season and bring visual interest to your sofa or chair. So it does look good paired with things. It's got tassels, multicolored tassels. So it's got both of those, the beige um, or the taupe and the cream on all four corners. Um, it's not puffing up like a ton in all honesty, like it's not puffing up as much as I would think, but it would certainly go with that uh, other pillow that I have back there. I just have not a lot of room. I have like a couch. We don't even have much seat seat seating in our living room, so I'm not sure where this will go. Uh, my husband is already like where I wanted to put the um, blanket ladder is where I have a ton of blankets and pillows just kind of stacked up in various bigger versions of that basket. It does, as you can see, have a zipper and it looks like you can take that insert out to wash. I'm not sure if it is washable. I was gonna see if I could find a tag. The zipper is not the best. It's not lined on the interior, but that's okay. Let's see what it says in terms of the washing of this. So these are all created by Deco Crate, Deco Crated, excuse me. So it's 100% poly cotton blend, both the front and the back panels, spot clean only. It is 12 by 20 inches, also made in China. So I think everything is made in China, probably like well in advance. The zipper is a little sticky. So um, you probably only take that off if you were switching out the pillow inside or you're trying to like hold it from the inside to spot clean. I would be a little bit nervous about getting it dirty. I will say, oh, I was gonna say, <laughs> I think there's smudges on the back already. It's just kind of like some dust and lint. It's a little bit linty. This is cute. It's cute. It's not like the most amazing quality, but it's probably one of my favorite items. So let's just go back. And I'm wondering what the heck is in the rest of this booklet. Like spoiler alert, the next page marks the start of Halloween. So they do have a Halloween add-on box. That's just like too seasonal for me. But honestly, I like some of the plain pumpkins that they've gotten there a little bit more than the glass pumpkin. I would have gone with the plain pumpkin instead. Um, they have a deco shop, obviously, where you can get all kinds of other things. And then they have their exclusive deco boxes like Easter, New Americana, Christmas, Halloween, and Luxe. 
So let me know if you would like me to continue to stay subscribed for this box and see what the winter box looks like. You know, I, like I said, I have limited funds every season, so I do try to move things around. But if you're just interested in seeing one of the bigger boxes, I can definitely do that or maybe we'll switch it up. But it's not bad for $110. I personally would probably splurge on one of the more unique smaller business boxes. Um, I think I honestly I like it more than I thought I would. I do. I like it more than I thought I would. I like the lumbar pillow. I think it's great that they included the insert. I think this stoneware vase is a little generic, but generic in that case is a good thing because you really want the flowers to be the star of the show. Um, I like the throw blanket, even though I need another throw blanket, like I need a hole in the head. I'm disappointed that it is dry clean only. So for me, that was a miss. So lumbar pillow hit, stoneware vase hit, throw blanket, pretty, but a miss. Glass pumpkin, just not my personal style, and it's really big. Uh, so for me, that was a miss, but again, that's a style thing. Uh, faux florals, they're not bad. They probably look fine on camera, but I just don't usually use a lot of faux, faux florals. Uh, so that's a, another miss. And then the another win is this natural weave basket, which I don't have space for, but I like it, and it doesn't seem like terrible quality. So. Pillow, stoneware vase, and natural weave basket. Yes, they have a little um, typo in here. <laughs> they have a back set, you guys, instead of a basket. See, they, they didn't hire me as a copy editor. Their back set, I like the back set, the lumber pillow, and the, and the stoneware vase. The pumpkin, the branch, and the blanket, slight messes for me, but it's really not that bad. It's just, where do you wanna spend your home decor? For the most part, the only seasonal thing though was really the um, the pumpkin, so I can't I can't give them a hit for that one. So I hope you enjoyed. If you are interested in subscribing, by all means, please do use my affiliate link, and I'll see you soon in my next unboxing.